job security because everyone Come feels on. like me. Listen here, I don't mind. I don't mind. Listen, <laughs> if you didn't have any questions, I wouldn't have a check. And I need my check. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and that's how everybody else, you know, they need, I need my they check need to, to pay know. for the AC because that, exactly. it's brutal outside. It right is. Now. And it's a big AC bill. <laughs> Listen, it is. It is. It's gone up too. We're not going to talk about that right now. Let's talk about uh, Tropical Storm Debbie. Wind sustained at 60 miles per hour, so a little bit stronger this afternoon, but it's still jogging, uh, actually walking. Uh, three miles per hour to the northeast off the coast of South Carolina. You can see those rain bands uh, really just bringing more rain to those folks. And they're going to be dealing with this uh, for another 12 uh, to 24 hours as the system eventually moves inland and then track off towards the northeast. A lot of folks that are in New England going to get some rain from this as we head into the weekend. Uh, but thankfully, that is not impacting us much. we got some cloud cover in far east Georgia. Otherwise, a lot of sunshine and a nice breeze out of the north, roughly 5 to 10 miles per hour, depending on where you are. A little bit higher once you get to Jasper. That's a 14 miles per hour sustained wind. Uh, but that's not really helping the temperatures or the humidity much right now. It's still very warm and humid. Uh, temperatures are in the low to mid 90s across the area. Feels a little bit warmer than that. That's going to be the trend as we head through the next few hours. I still think it's a good night uh, for some baseball. Milwaukee Brewers at 720 uh, taking on the Braves. Uh, we're expecting temperatures to stay warm in the mid to low 80s until after the game's over. Going to be a warm night, but mostly clear. Temperatures fall to the mid 70s. And there's more sunshine to come to start off the day tomorrow. You can see that some clouds try to build into far east Georgia. That's going to be as Debbie moves inland. Could even see some spotty showers out uh, far east Georgia as well. But I'm not expecting much of an impact across the region, uh, especially in the metro. But it is going to be hot and it's going to be humid again through the day tomorrow. Just like temperatures uh, feel very close to 100 degrees today. I expect much of the same as we head into the afternoon tomorrow. The kids going to be dealing with the same time uh, type of afternoon bus ride as they're dealing with today. Temperatures continue to hang out in that warm territory as we end the work week. 95 for a high Friday here in Atlanta. 97 in Athens. 98 down in Eatonson. So the heat continues to dominate and really doesn't go anywhere even heading into the weekend. We do believe the dew points are going to drop a little bit, but it is going to still remain warm uh, and a little muggy through the weekend. So don't expect for it to feel comfortable out there. It just will not feel quite as sticky as it does today and it will the next couple of days. Meanwhile, couldn't really buy a rain chance here if we wanted to. A spotty shower far east Georgia and then that rain chance near zero as we head through the work week and into the weekend. The temperatures are going to continue to be our primary focus here. Hanging out in the mid 90s for the bulk of this forecast falling to 93 next Wednesday. And we're keeping an eye on the tropics because we are in hurricane season. We were watching a wave uh, out in the Caribbean, but uh, guidance saying that we're not really expecting much of chance of development over the course of the next week. But we'll keep an eye on the whole basin. And if that changes, we'll let you know.